Welcome back to Movie Geek Channel with another video. This will be a out and about scenario that I haven't done. Um, last time I did this was on Black Friday and I failed really extremely hard on that. So, yeah, I hope this will be successful. Um, I'm currently on San Antonio, my apartment. Um, well, I'm just staying here for a few days. Um, today's Saturday, November 14th. And tomorrow will be my last day before I go to back to my hometown. And yeah, my movie room slash bedroom. There's Lucas. Um, it's a family dog. I'm taking care. I'm taking care of him right now. Currently taking care of him. And yeah, this is my Blu-ray collection. Um, you know, box set, 4K, Blu-ray, and my TV shows. Um, right there, my TV show, my Doctor Who. Well. My Doctor Who is in the bottom and the top because I'm running out of space for it. I'm planning to get another show like this for, just for Doctor Who. And my Criterions are inside my closet. So therefore, I'm going to turn on the lights. And there it is. My Criterion collection. I start, I start collecting in late 2013. And here I am. Um, early 2014, late 2013. Yeah. This is how much I collected over the years, you know, participating in the sales. And yeah, look at that Godzilla set right there. And that's my manga, my DVDs, my diploma, and my box sets. And you don't need to know this, this is my closet. Um, yeah, that's why I decided to put this in my closet because you know, the Criterion channel does these video called the Criterion Closet um, pickups, um, picks, something like that. And this is a perfect, um, you know, place for it. And I think that's just, ah. Uh, yes, I'm ran out of space. That's why I put the DVDs in the back so I can continue the Criterion Club. I might move the manga in the bottom and put it in there, but we'll see. That's bothering me. So this is gonna be raw. So this is like a vlog. Oh, I hate that word, vlog, vlog. Anyways, yeah, Um, just, I love my movie room. I really do. Anyways, my, my movie room slash office, Slash my bedroom. It's over the place. Um, I cannot wait to have a, another house, uh, my own house one day, you know, have a dedicated movie room. Um, just uh, my dream. <laughs> so what I'm going to do today, well, today I'm going to Barnes & Noble and continuing the Criterion Collection 50% off sale. I'm planning to get five more titles. I'm not too sure, but also I'm going to Walmart. Uh, maybe Best Buy, we'll see. But I'm going to Walmart because they just got started with the Black Friday um, sale for the Blu-rays and DVDs and 4K, um, really cheap price. So I might take an advantage on that. Um, I'm not sure when the Best Buy Black Friday is going to start because that's very confusing which date it is. Um, the movie sales are not on sale just yet. But Walmart is for the Blu-rays and DVDs and, and 4K. So I might get a couple 4K. I might get a couple of Blue A's. We'll see. And I'm going to move that because probably copyrighted stuff. Um, you know, freeform. Anyways, sit back, relax. Let's get over it. You can see my laptop. Um, You can see my laptop right now. Um, I'm in the uh, Walmart website for their Black Friday deals. And when I clicked it, you can see it said valid November 14th. To to November 15th. So today's November 14th to the day in store only, which is great. So I don't have to order online. I'm planning to get Hop and Shaw because um, I really do enjoy this movie. It's, it's stupid, but it's crazy. And I'm not sure this is on sale for $7.96. If that's on sale for $7.96, man, that's a good deal for a Star Wars movie on a 4K. Wow, that's a cool deal. Even though it's not a great movie for The Rise of Skywalker. But that's a good deal for 4K, especially the John Wick trilogy, because I own the trilogy on, on Blu-ray. I'm happily on Blu-ray. I'm not going to upgrade. But yeah, um, but yeah, this is generally what it, what it, the tease is going to be, what it's going to be. And I'm excited. So, yeah. Anyways, yeah, let's get right into it, shall we? Okay, I just made it to Walmart and have no idea what kind of, um, to expect going in from Walmart. 
Um, I'm hoping I can get some good deals on Blu-ray. Like I said, I'm probably going to get Hop and Shot on Blu-ray for $5.96. Don't need a 4K, to be honest. That particular movie on Blu-ray just looks just fine. But I'm, I might get Mulan on 4K. That's a maybe. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen that one, um, Mulan, so... The live action remake, um, not the original. I do own the original on Blu-ray. So let's get right into it, shall we? So yeah, you can, as you can see, there's just two kiosks and um, separate from DVD to Blu-rays, there's some couple of Disney's um, select title for $10. It's actually a kind of good deal for Disney film on Blu-ray and that's The Invisible Man for $7 which is actually a good deal. I owned it but really good deal. Um, see some title John Wick. Um, yeah, once again, the Disney, I, I already own some of the stuff but the Star Wars the Rise, of, Rise of Skywalker is for $7 which is actually a good deal. Okay, um, I'm in the toy section right now but nobody's here so um, I got some stuff. Kind of disappointing. It's just two two kiosk um section, and I'm plan and yes, I'm gonna get Mulan on 4K, cause why not? I wanna watch it, and I'm yeah, I'm okay about the price, but because I'm a D D Disney collector, and I like to have it with the subcover, so yeah. Um, I think I'm ready. Um, yeah, let's do it. And just like that, I'm back from Walmart. I'm in the car. Uh, I hear an aid. Uh, yeah, I have a hearing aid, so that's one thing I was, I hate the mask, is the hearing aid tangled with the mask. Uh, anyways, uh, my glasses are still foggy, trying to disappear. Anyway, yeah, um, not bad at all. Um, I got some stuff, um, I believe five, yeah, one, two, three, four, yeah, four titles from the Black Friday deals, and one of them is not from the Black Friday deal but i decided to jump the gun and just get it and just watch it um because i've been meaning to watch it that's mulan on 4k and yeah um, this is a beautiful zip cover um the, the the sword is glossy and the rest is matte finish it's just beautiful and you see very similar to the skywalker um the west of skywalker blue 4k they have additional artwork it's just really nice um really really nice 4k release um, I heard not so good things about Mulan, but oh well. Um, I'm a Disney collector, and I want I want to get every Disney movies as as possibly I I can. And I'm not gonna show you my Blu-ray, um, uh, my Black Friday haul as of yet. I'm gonna do a separate vi separate. I'm gonna do a separate video on that just for the Black Friday haul. You know, with Best Buy. I'm not sure about Target. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do just a standalone standalone video on the on that alone. Um, I'm always gonna. In this video, I'm only going to show you the Criterion haul on there. So that's going to be in the end of the video. So look out for that. And I'm also planning to go to see the exchange and have my books after Barnes & Noble. But we'll see. Let's get right into Barnes & Noble, shall we? Let's get some Criterions, baby. So, you know, safety first. Let's get right into it. I made it to Barnes Noble. It's right there in La, La, La Candera. It's an outlet store in San Antonio here. Um, yeah, this is round two for the Criterion Hunt. Um, I'm probably gonna get five titles that I wanted. Um, but yeah. So yeah, <laughs> I have nothing to say. Let's get inside and just see what I got in the end of the video. Well, I just made it. Um, I, mean, I just made it to see the exchange. Just for one last stop. Just came back from Barnes and Noble. Um, before in the end of the video, I'm gonna show you. I have to special order two titles that they didn't have in my local Barnes and Noble in San Antonio. That is Solaris and Raise the Head. I ordered them. It's come. It's going to come in my house in Brownsville, um, really soon. So I ordered Solaris and Raise the Head. Razor head, something I'm kind of been in my radar for a long time, and I'm I think I'm, I'm finally ready to get into more David Lynch mind. 
And Solo is something I've been wanting to see. I've been wanting to see Tartuski films for a long time. Um, Stalker has been one of them. I really want to check it out. But Solo is something I'm really interested in seeing. And it's one of the re recommendations from Nathan Hill movies. Link below. And I'm finally right from TV Exchange. I don't know what I'm going to get. And this will be my last stop. Um, the only title didn't, I, it, that the Barge of Normal didn't have is The Rest Shoes. Um, it's out of stock online and I couldn't get it. I'm going to wait. Um, yeah, they have one in stock in Barge of Normal, but it's very far away. Um, so I'm probably not going to get The Rest Shoes today. But they get three titles in this sec um, in the hall. So I'm going to show you the very last. Now let's go into CD Exchange. And yeah, let's do this. Yeah, about that. Huh, <sighs> I just got done. Um, I just came back. I just got out from CD Exchange. Got one title, one blue title. And the more thing about it, when I was inside CD Exchange, I decided not to give up and go to another Barge of Noble, the second Barge of Noble that, that this particular Barge of Noble had the copy of the rest shoes. I was like, you know what, why not? I'm not gonna give up, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna give up and just get the title and, and just, just, just not wait. And so yeah, let's go inside, shall we? And that is the face of devastation and sadness. Oh man. Well, just got back in the car from that Barge and Noble right there. They didn't have it. So basically what it is, um, somebody got it on hold. And and a gentleman, a, a employee, just told me, Hey, I can, I can order for you. And there's a problem. We can order this because they ran out of stock online as well for the rest shoes i was like oh that's fine i i can wait when they restock it again because rest shoes is the movie i'm really interested in seeing it looks like a very inventive and beautiful beautiful movie um i've always wanted to see powell and press burger film um there's a couple of black narcissists it's one of them man of life and death is one of them and, and the rest shoe is one high regard i really want to check that out but that's a bus. This Barge and Noble, the second Barge and Noble, is the bus. I forgot to tell you the first Barge and Noble location. Um, I didn't film it because the Criterion section is close by to the register, register section. So I didn't film it that all. So I didn't film it much from the first Barge and Noble location. The second location I didn't film it as well because I was looking for the red shoes and didn't have it. So whatever. Let's go back to my apartment and let's let me show you what I got for the Criterion fifty percent off sale. Hall round two. So let's do it. I'm back from the hunt that is Blue Way Out and About. Um, Blue Way Hunt Out About, if you will. What kind of title? Um, I'm not sure, but yeah, um, it was pretty successful, I think. Um, mine is I didn't get Solaris, The Red Shoes, and You Raise Your Head. But don't worry, I special ordered Eraser Head and Solaris, but I we couldn't order the red shoes online for the reason it's out of stock. And honestly, I can wait um, for the next sale or the flash sale. Um, so before we get right into the criterion, what I got for the criterion, I'm gonna show you what I got from CD Exchange. I only got one title from CD Exchange, and it's a Western, started by. Um, Clint Eastwood. I got it for seven bucks, which is actually a really good deal. I know this is a 4K edition of this movie, because, uh, I'll, I, I mean, I'll, I'd rather get a cheaper route than getting $14 for a 4K, the movie that I have not seen. I'm talking about The Unforgiven, um, and Western, a greedy Western that got nominated for Best Picture and Best Director, Directing and Film Editing and Best Supporting Actor. Um, Clint Eastwood, Gene Hackman, Morgan Freeman, and Richard Harris. Phenomenal cast, um, love them all, and just this. I, I'm a, I'm a, I really enjoy Western movies, but this is one of my Western movies. Um, Unforgiven is one of those movies I've been wanting to watch 
for a long time. Um, it's been in my wish list for a while for this particular Blu-ray. And there's a making of documentary. There's a four documentaries in here. Um, yeah, and I heard nothing but phenomenal things about this particular film. Um, what I heard from people, they said this is something, a different approach from the Western genre as a whole and how different it is, how they took different turns and and they experiment on it and that's what I, I love about it. It's just, give me something different Western movie than than other Western movie that I have, have, that I've seen. So Unforgiven is something I've been wanting to watch for a long time and I'm happy to add that in my collection. And earlier on this video, I, I, I went to Walmart. That's my first location that I, I did go for this particular video, this ad about. Uh, I'm not gonna show. I'm not gonna show you my Black Friday haul because I'm gonna do a separate video on that. Um, Cause this is the Walmart Black Friday, so I'm not gonna show you that. I'm gonna do a separate video on the Black Friday haul video. Um, I'm not sure when because Best Buy Black Friday hasn't started their blue away deals. So, but from Walmart, I decided. You know what? I'm gonna pull the trigger and pay thirty bucks. Um, twenty nine 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 for this. 4K title of a recent release that is Mulan. Um, this is a live action adaptation of the original animated classic that I love. And this is on 4K. It, for whatever reason, the two, the regular edition, the Blu-ray edition doesn't have a zip cover. It's just the 4K edition of the movie, which I'm like, okay, whatever. But it's really nice. It's very similar to the Rise of, the Rise of Skywalker, um, you know, different artwork. Yeah, this just, um, an, inter an interesting take from Mulan. I've not seen it. Oh, wow. Look at this. Different artwork. Thank you, Disney. So, yeah, I decided to pull the trigger and just... I'm probably going to watch this tonight and just see for, what I, for myself because I'm not paying 30 bucks on the Disney Premiere Access or whatever. I know they're going to release for free on Disney+, Plus, but whatever. I, just, I support the physical media release and I want Disney to continue to release the physical media copy because I know they're gonna, they're going to put Soul on Disney Plus, but I'm hoping they can release them on 4K on Blu-ray. Cause Soul just looks wonderful, and I cannot wait to watch that on Christmas Day when it comes out. And now, last but not least, I didn't go to Best Buy. I didn't go to Half Price Books. Um, I went to two Barnes and Nobles and one Walmart. So and CD Exchange. So I only picked up three titles from in my local Barnes and Noble in San Antonio. Um, because the other three that I mentioned, two of them I had to special order the eraser head and Solaris, and the other one I couldn't order because out of stock, and that sucks. So, in no particular order, um, I'm gonna yeah, in no particular order, um, the the first one I immediately um I didn't get this in July, so but this month I'm definitely gonna get that's Come and See, and I heard nothing but incredible things of this movie. Um, heartbreaking. I heard people saying it's heartbreaking, brutal, and just horrific. And I'm just intrigued and interesting in seeing this movie. Um, just it just looks phenomenal. The images that I seen from online, I was just very curious. And this was a hot, hot item in the month of July when this came out. People people want to get this in the fifty percent of sale in July. And I decided not to get it. I decided to get the war, the world worlds and the cameraman instead of this. Um, but this time I want to check it out. This is what yeah, this is a World War Two, um, you know, psychological movie which I'm like, that's my kind of movie right there. And the next one is a John Luke Godard film. The only John Luke Godard film that I've seen is Breathless, which is a wonderful, wonderful French new wave film. And that's the only John Luke Godard film that I've seen. Um, there's others I want to see. I want to see Band of Brothers. I believe no Band of uh, Outsiders. I believe that's what it's called, Band of Outsiders. But this one, the original blue release had been out of print for a long time, and it's one of the hot items. And Criterion finally re-released it from. Uh, it's a collaboration with Stuart Cornell, and I'm talking about um, Perret Le Faux. It does how pronounced that. Um, Perret Perret Le Faux. I'm not sure that I, that's not sure that's correct um the way I said but this just looks awesome um but what I've seen because I the only film from the only film that I've seen from John Luc Godard is Beltless and I love that one and it's the same actor the main actor who's in this movie is this dude I forgot who's his 
is it yeah John Paul Bemondo and he's in the movie as a cup uh, a main character I don't know what this movie is I'm um, I'm gonna go in blind and the only thing I know is directed by John Luke Godard and that's the only thing I know and yeah I'm glad um, Criterion finally re-released this I believe they also re-released Army of Shadowfish another film that looks very interesting and my kind of movie but I decided to go to this one because I want to see another John Luke Godard in my brain because for one I've seen Breathless it's just I think he's an awesome director um creating fresh new wave Lastly but not least, this wasn't planned. I decided to get another Ingmar Bergman film. The only Ingmar Bergman film I have owned in my Criterion collection is The Seventh Seal. And I have not seen The Seventh Seal. It's still sealed. No pun, no pun intended. Um, but this one looks wonderful. It's about an elderly man who gone to the end of life basically. And um, yeah, it's wild strawberries. This just looks wonderful, my kind of movie, and it's just something I'm very interested in seeing. But first, I gotta check out The Seventh Seal before I go in to get, in, get into this. Um, but yeah, um, we have new 2K digital transfer, we have other commentary, we have introduction with the, with the director Ingmar Bergman. We have, oh, this is pretty cool, Ingmar Bergman on life and work in 90 minute documentary. That's cool. And we have piano scene footage shot by Bergman. And let me see all the extra from Come and See. Come and see, we have a couple of interviews. There's three 1917 films from Play Me... Uh, oh, that's cool. There's three 1975 films from Play Me Memory, a documentary series by Victor. That's cool. And we have interviews, more interviews. And the story of the film, Come and See, a 1985 short film featuring interview with Klimov, which I believe that's the director. Yes. Yeah, um, yeah, really excited. And Pearl of have tons as well. We have a French documentary of this movie. So yeah, this is, yeah. Three more Criterions added to my Criterion collection. Um, yeah, this is round two. And I believe that'd be it for buying Criterions for this year. Um, I can't wait for July and another flash sale. Um, but yeah, for next July, I'm probably, my definite will be the red shoes, but that could be July. That could be much, much further in time. But for now, I'm good with the three that I own currently and the two that are going to come shipped really, really soon with um, Eraserhead and Solaris. So that's coming. So Nathan, if you're watching, don't worry. I'm getting Solaris really soon um, in the mail. So yeah. And also Eraserhead, because I'm really excited to get it, finally get into Eraserhead for the reverse time because I saw the Elephant Man a couple of days ago, a couple of nights ago, and I just love that movie. It's my very first David Lynch film ever and I just loved it I really did so awesome I hope you enjoyed this out of and about video of Blue Hunting I got a great stack of movies for me to watch I'm probably gonna watch Mulan tonight um I'm not sure how that's gonna work but probably if you're new to the channel please subscribe um I would be highly appreciated for more content to Blue reviews Deal updates, movie reviews, and I plan for the month of December. And yeah, have a great day. See ya.